This is the electronic starter kit for Microbit by Monk Makes. Let's have a look at what we've got in the box. Okay, so we've got a little uh, fan here that fits on this motor. Let's do that now. Uh, okay, so we're going to be using that in some projects. And you see it's got some uh, tags on the end so that we can attach alligator clips. And here are the alligator clips. There's a little bunch of 10 uh, in assorted colours. And they're nice and short, which means it makes it easy to connect things up um, and you don't end up too, with too much of a tangle of wires. We've got uh, a battery box for a single AA battery. Um, the kit doesn't include either a, a, an AA battery or a microbit itself, so you'll have to provide these two things yourself in order to make the projects in the kit. And we've also got a little light bulb and light bulb holder uh, that will be used to um, in some of the projects. The project, the kit also includes these boards, so let's have a look at these in turn. We'll start with this one. This is the speaker for Microbit, and it's an amplified speaker. Um, you connect ground and three volts to provide it with power, from, and it takes that power from the Microbit. And then the input signal to the um, little amplifier and speaker just comes from a, an output of the Microbit. This board here is a, a relay board, and unlike a, a lot of relays uh, that are electromechanical, this is a solid state relay, so it's, it's a relay on a chip. And the way the relay works is it has a, an input, which is can just be controlled by the micro bit, so you can connect that to a digital output of the micro bit, and if you turn the digital output on, it effectively closes this switch between these two contacts here. So you can use it to turn things on and off you can't use it to turn high voltage things on, on and off. It's got a maximum voltage of 16 volts and a maximum current of 2 amps. But for turning things on and off like light bulbs or uh, motors, that's absolutely fine. Um, and you cannot, because it's a, a solid state relay rather than an electromechanical one, you can actually use it to control the amount of power going to something. So you can use it to control the brightness of the light bulb or how fast the, um, the motor turns. And the final board that we've got in here is this. This is the sensor board. So the sensor board has um, can sense three different types of things. It's got a microphone here um, so that you can you know, say something or capture the amount of background noise in a room, for example, and um, take a reading of that. Um, you can actually use it to capture analog uh, sound signals in a fairly limited way because the micro bit doesn't have a very fast way of getting samples into it. It's, it can only take about 2,000 samples a second, which, are, which isn't enough for a lot of situations. Uh, there's a little temperature sensor here right in the middle and on the right hand side there's a, a light sensor. So you can you do things like make data loggers and other projects like that where you want to record um, take take readings from these sensors. So these sensors are used in various different ways in the projects in the in the book. Which brings us on to the instruction book. So the instruction book uh, starts by identifying all the various parts you've got in the uh, in the kit, and then it uh, gives you some general instructions about how to make the projects and how to get hold of the software. So there's uh, software is provided both in the blocks language. Uh, so that you can um, download, uh, you can just click on one of these on a, a, an accompanying website and it'll open it up in your browser and then you can install it onto your microbit. Um, and it's also available in as um, MicroPython programs for all the projects. Uh, there's a bit of instructions about how to connect things together with the alligator clips because you have to be a bit careful on the microbit that the alligator clips don't connect to some of these little edge connectors on here. You want them just to clip to the main connector. So the easiest way to do that is to clip them in vertically as I've shown there. Uh, and then we've got uh, um, some instructions just on how to get started with the micro bit, how to plug it in, how to open up the blocks editor and how to transfer a, a, a program that you've written on your computer onto the micro bit so that it can run on the micro bit. And then we move on to uh, the projects and for each project there's a little wiring diagram that shows you how to connect the whatever boards are being used or whatever other parts, whether you're using a motor or whatever, how to connect them up using the alligator clicks, clips. 
And then it also has um, a, the code that you need to use. And as I said, you don't have to construct this in the editor. You can go and fetch it as a download or, or open it up in your browser and use it directly. And then finally, we also have a, a description of the code and the uh, MicroPython version of the code for that project. So that's the same sort of pattern for all these different projects. Uh, and then when we get to the back, we find there's a, a little bit more detail about how some of the more advanced projects work. And then finally, we've got a, a section at the back where we have some um, a guide to using the JavaScript blocks editor. Uh, so that if you want to actually modify the programs uh, that, that are supplied with the projects and make them do something else or work a bit differently, then um, this will show you how to go about doing that. And similarly, how to use MicroPython if you've decided to use MicroPython rather than the block editor. There's also a troubleshooting section, which you can use if you're, if you're having trouble with your project. Um, and uh, that will basically, hopefully, provide you with all the information you need to actually make use of the kit and build yourself these seven interesting projects. Project one, movement alarm. For this, of course, we're going to need a micro bit, and we're also going to need a speaker, the speaker board, and then we're going to need three wires to connect this together. So we'll use the same color coding as we've got in the diagram there. But before we go ahead and start connecting things together, let's flash the program for this project onto the board, onto the micro bit. It's a good idea to flash the program on first uh, before you start connecting things up. Um, it doesn't really, it sh there shouldn't be any harm caused to your micro bit if you don't, but it does make sure that when one of these connectors here is being used as an output and it's connecting to a different board that's also got an output, then you've not got two outputs connected together, which um, the, the micro bit is pretty, pretty tough, but it's good to avoid that if you can. So good idea to start each project by uploading the software onto it before you start connecting things together. So let's do that. And the way we do that is we go to this website, monkmakes.com slash MB. And on this web page, you'll find uh, a link at the top that tells you how to go and download the Python programs if you want to use MicroPython. But we're going to use the block language here. So we'll, we'll scroll down to P1 Alarm, which is the project we want. And if we just click on the picture of the project code, then it'll um, open up the project in uh, the, the microbit environment. It takes a little while to, to load it up. OK, and there it goes. Um, you might notice a little warning that pops up here just to let you know that this is um, a program that's been contributed by a user, in, uh, in this case by MonkMakes. And we can, um, this is the entire program. So if we click on download, It'll go and fetch the program and download it um, into, you know, from uh, into our browser's download area. So I happen to be using a Mac, but if you're using a Windows machine, you'd you'd find that it'd be a similar location where it, where it would put the file, a downloads folder somewhere. And we're going to then copy that onto the micro bit. So that's one of the nice things about the micro bit is when you plug it into your computer, it shows up as a drive here. So we've got micro bit as if it, you'd plug the flash drive in. And then all we have to do is get hold of the hex file that's been created by the browser, drag it down onto micro bit. And now if you notice on the back of here, we've actually got the LED flickering away. And that's showing you that the micro bit is um, being uh, flashed with the program okay and then it's it's finished uh, so it's all ready to go okay so now let's connect some things together so if we look at the wiring diagram we see we've got a black alligator clip connected from ground on the micro bit to ground on the speaker and then we've got a red from three volts on the micro bit to three volts on the speaker and there you go. You'll notice the little orange lights come on. That's just showing that the speaker amplifier has got power. And then the final step is to connect the output zero from the micro bit to the input of the speaker. OK, and we're getting a tone straight away. And that's because we're moving the board. So let's let's put it, put the board back down there and we'll reset it. 
Okay, so now the alarm is ready, waiting for us. And if we tried, to, this was inside a bag or a box or something of your valuables. And if you try and move it, it sets the alarm off. Okay, so we try and move it again. Okay. So you could have some fun just trying to see very carefully if you can actually move it without setting it off. Well, yeah, some success there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So that's project one. Project five, fan speed controller. So this project uses the little electric motor and the fan, and it also uses the relay board. And it, rather than just use the relay board to turn the fan on and off, it's actually gonna use it to control the speed of the fan. So let's start by installing the program that we need, flashing the program we need onto the micro bit. So we go, once again, we go to the Monk Makes website, to the code area slash MB, and then we need to scroll down and find project six, project four, uh, project five, project, project six, automatic. Uh, sorry, no, project five we want, project five, fan speed controller. Okay, there we go. So let's click on the code. And we get, once again, we get a warning about user provided content and the project initializes. And after a little while, there's our code. And let's click on the download button. So that downloads the hex file for us. And if we go and find that, we can then drag that onto our micro bit and that will replace any other program that was on the micro bit before. Okay, so if we look at the back of the micro bit, once again, confirmation, we've got a little flickering away of the LED that tells us that it's in progress. Okay, so the program's installed. Let's wire things up now. So the wiring for this is a little bit more complicated than project one. In this, we're going to need a battery box, and I put an AA battery in there ready to go. We're going to need a relay module. We're going to need the motor and fan, and we're also going to need a selection of, of wires to connect everything together. Okay, so let's start by connecting the micro bit to the relay. Uh, so we've got ground on there, connected to ground on the relay module. And then we've got, uh, I've used a, I use the same colored wire. So we've got a green wire going from zero on there to the input of the relay. So this is how the re how the micro bit can turn this switch on and off using this connector here. Now we need to do the bottom part of the circuit where, which is completely independent from the top part. So the um, solid state relay has an optical connection between the side that's connected to the micro bit and the side that acts as a switch. So that there's no danger of anything that you try and switch on here, destroying your micro bit or damaging it. So let's connect this up. I'll use the green wire to take one side of the output from the relay and clip that onto battery box there. And then we need to connect our um, little motor to the other side of the battery. It doesn't really matter which way around you connect the battery up. It'll just mean that the fan will turn in the opposite direction, uh, depending on which way you connect it up. So let's stick to the diagram, connect that to there. And then from the other side of the fan, we need a connection to complete the circuit back to the other side of the relays switch. So we connect that like that. All right, so that's everything connected. And um, the way this program works, you see we've got a zero on there. You need to just make sure that the this isn't going to foul the wires. Um, and that indicates a speed of zero. And then if we increase the speed, the fan just starts to turn and it shows one. Let's make it go a bit faster. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to nine, which is full speed for the, for the motor. And then we can turn the speed back down again. And then finally, we can just turn the speed, turn the motor completely off like that. 
Okay, so that's project five. Project seven, magic music. In this project, we need a micro bit, of course, and we're gonna use two of the Monk Makes boards, the speaker to produce the sound, and we're gonna use the sensor board, and we're just going to use the light sensing part of that to, so that we can alter the sound as we shield some of the light from the sensor by putting our hand in front of it. I've already uh, flashed the program for this project onto the micro bit and from the website in exactly the same way as I have for the other projects. Um, so we can connect this up now. When you've got a more complicated project like this, it's a good idea to actually wire it up um, without the micro bit plugged into the USB connection, just in case you get something wrong and short something out. It's just uh, a good idea to do that. You don't really need to do it for a very simple project, but in this one there's quite a complicated amount of wiring, so we need to want to make sure we get it right. Let's start by connecting up the sensor board to the micro bit, and you'll see that it uses a yellow, red and a green crocodile clip lead, so we'll use the same coloured leads to avoid confusion. So the ground goes to ground, and then 3 volts on the micro bit goes to 3 volts on the sensor board and then the output from the light sensor we want to be connected to two pin two on the micro bit okay so that's connected up the sensor board now we need to connect up the relay board and fortunately the relay board has a three volt on a ground output that we can use to connect to the provide power to the speaker so we'll use the connect the ground to the ground there and we'll connect the three volts to three volts there okay and then finally we need to connect the input for the amplifier speaker to zero pin zero on the micro bit okay so let's have a final check we've got everything connected up power wise for the two boards and then we've got the input connected to zero and we've got the light output of the sensor board connected to two. Good, that looks okay. We've already flashed the program onto the board, so let's uh, let's plug it in and see, see what it does. Okay, there's a, a calibration thing that um, runs when the program first starts, so we need to press the reset button on the bottom of the board and then and you'll find that we get different tones as we move our hand in front of the sensor. Okay, so that's project seven.